Money is a gift. Steward it. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 19. As for every man to whom God has given riches and wealth, and given him power to eat of it, to receive his heritage and rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. The Bible has a lot to tell us about money and wealth and riches, uh, the good things about it and the warnings uh, about it and uh, uh, several things concerning money and so on. And this week, we want to spend some time just listening to what God's word teaches us concerning money. To begin with, we understand here from what Solomon said about wealth and riches and money. He said, this is a gift of God. A gift usually is given to us by the giver, not necessarily based on our merit or because you know there's something that we've done to earn it, but it's really given because of the benevolence of the giver. They give it because they want to bless us, they give it because they just want to uh, give that to us, want to see us have it and enjoy it. But usually, how we use that gift is left to us. That means here's something that's been placed in our hands, we have the choice of enjoying the gift, sometimes neglecting the gift, just taking it and leaving it aside and not doing anything with it. But many times, and many of us feel it like, feel this way, that how we use the gift is our response to the giver. And uh, we like to honor the person who's given us the gift by using that gift well, by treating that gift well, especially if it's a very expensive gift. Now what the Bible tells us here is that the ability to earn riches, wealth, to enjoy our labor, uh, this is really a gift that God gives us. And so we must understand that when there is money in our possession, when there is wealth in our hands, that actually is a gift from God and therefore we must steward it. That means we must use it well and that is our response to God himself, that we acknowledge that God has blessed us with this, that it is God in his mercy and grace uh, and if it's the kindness of his heart, he has given this to us. All that we have comes from him and now uh, we want to be good stewards of it so that we can honor it. So we must understand that God blesses us or God blesses his people with money. Uh, we, uh, the, the Bible is uh, throughout in both the Old Testament and the New Testament, we see that God blesses his people with money. For instance, in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17, where the apostle Paul is writing about money, he says, command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, not to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. One thing I want to highlight from 1 Timothy 6.17 is it says God does give us richly all things to enjoy. Meaning God does bless his people. God does put money in our hands and he gives it so that we can enjoy it. We can make good use of it. And out of that, we honor God in the way we use our money. So our first truth that I want us to take concerning money from the scriptures is that it is a gift of God. And our response to that gift is, we must steward it well, and in so doing, we honor God who has blessed us with wealth, riches, and money. And I want to pray with you today. Pray that God will bless you with that gift, the gift of money, the gift of wealth and riches. And there's nothing wrong in us saying, God, increase it in our hands so that we can use it rightly for your glory and honor. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that wealth, riches, and money is a gift that you give to us. And I pray with those listening, God, that you will increase that gift in our lives, cause more to come into our lives so that we could steward it well and use it for your glory and for your honor. And we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.